Hi, everybody! Woo! Okay, new things happening this week. I'm going to get it all going here. Tyler looked at me today and said, you're very bold today. I said, I feel very bold. Thank you. Um, okay. <clears throat> this hair is going to be in my face, though, probably. Check out the shirt. I'm not short. I'm fun size. Woo! Okay. Hold on. You got my heart and that's the only thing that matters. I turn off the obnoxious music because it's probably bothering somebody. Okay, hold on. I want to tweak the link to Facebook and Twitter. And then I'll explain this whole tweet chat thing that we got going on, if you haven't found that yet. Mm. Uh, that might have to be the hashtag of the week. Hashtag be bold. Okay. Whoa. Oh, no. Did I just click out of it? There we go. It's working. It's working. Okay. Okay. Um, tweet there. Facebook there. Yep. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, okay, live here. Oops. At this link, hashtag BB Live. See if that'll send it to the tweet chat as well. Okay. Okay. All right. 11 new tweets. I got that going. And then I'll have this chat going as well. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome. Um, all right. I'm going to explain a little something here. I, I know the comments can be really frustrating because they can go very slowly at times. And there probably will still be a bit of a delay just because... I don't think that, you know, immediately as I say something, it's it's hitting you, you know, at the same moment I say it. But um, something I thought would be fun, and this was a suggestion from several of you, was to do a hashtag on Twitter. And I remember, I think I remember Mally doing this. Um, it's tweetchat.com. And I've tweeted the link, so if you follow me on Twitter, go to mine, and you can you can hit that link. And basically, it's going to automatically add the hashtag BB Live to the end of it, and it will sort everybody else who's tweeting that hashtag too. Okay, so you don't have to even worry about hashtagging it. It's like we're all in a in a Twitter room together. Okay, so if you want to try that. Um, I've got that open, and I'm also looking at the other at the YouTube comments still as well because I know not everybody's on Twitter, but um, I'm. This is what we're trying today. We're testing it out. So yes, hashtag be bold, Pennsylvania. Thank you. This is a Kmart shirt. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I've been wanting a shirt that said this for a long time. So, and then it was buy one, get one free, so I got another ridiculous shirt that you'll probably see in a future video. Good morning, New York. Good morning, sunshines. Oh, and I've got a fresh cup of coffee today. Mm. Woke up early, watched the sunrise. It was beautiful. I Instagrammed a picture of that sunrise, by the way. Can't let those beautiful moments go un-Instagrammed. Heaven forbid. Okay. Yeah, I'm in a very um, borderline hyperactive mood today. So, yeah. And I'm not going to probably have a lot of patience for technology screwing up. So, there's that as well. Okay. I'm, I'm just refreshing the tweet chat here just to see if it if it's going to update automatically. This was it said on the front page that this is supposed to update automatically. Okay, they're coming in. I see Amanda Rocco. When did you tweet that? 9:04. It's 9:04 right now. Emily. Oh, what are you wearing on your lips? We're going to get to that in the face of the day because this is a killer lip product, people. This is a heck of a lip product that I have on right now. 
I mean, it's just going to it's gonna blow your mind. You probably think I'm wearing gloss, but I'm not. Woo! Okay. Ooh, we're going to refresh that. Yeah, it seems like a similar thing is happening on YouTube chat or on the YouTube comments. It's like you've got to refresh it to see the new ones. So... Yes, I am full of zest today, and I've only had one small cup, and I've gotten myself um, one more small cup, just in case, because I like to have something to drink just to, you know, what do they say, wet my whistle? Does anybody still say that? All right, yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing Rachel, Jessica, Mariah, Danny, they're all on the tweet chat. Yes, the Waffle House mug. I think every time I drink out of this mug, I have a precious memory of me and my friend Kaylee going to the Waffle House in Nashville at like 2 in the morning, and I asked the sweet waitress if I could buy one of the mugs, and she said, honey, you can just have it. And so I said, thank you. You are the nicest person. So... Mm, good evening from Japan. All right. All right, all right. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the sunrise picture. It's not always that pretty. It's been real cloudy um, in the mornings lately, and yes, today was just, <laughs> I'm already thinking it's a day ago, <laughs> but this morning it was just gorgeous, and now the sky is super blue. I'm seeing a plane going across. I am just fascinated by planes. Whenever we have an airport, um, like a regional airport, not too far from where we live, and it never fails at 6 a.m., like right after my alarm goes off, there is, there's a regular plane like that goes, and it's fairly small, like little regional jet, you know, going from here to St. Louis. And that is probably the way I should, if I ever fly out of St. Louis, I kind of want to do that next time, is just drive over to Marion, get on the little plane, fly to St. Louis, and then fly somewhere else. But anywho, um, I always hear that plane take off at 6 in the morning. And it's not like the airport's right beside us. It's probably like, I don't know, 5 or 6 miles away. But I love hearing the planes and looking out the window, and I can sometimes see a plane going by. Yeah, that one's probably headed to, and then I estimate where they're headed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I used to not like flying at all, but since I've There's done it a little bit more lately, I'm not like flying all the time, but since I have flown a little bit more, I've come to enjoy it more. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to be going back and forth between the tweet, tweet chat and the other. It's just hard. I would encourage you to try the tweet chat. Um, go to my Twitter for the link to it. And you hashtag, it'll hashtag it automatically for you. My shirt says, I'm not short, I'm fun size. That's right. Kind of cheesy, kind of loud, but like I said, that's the theme this week. Loud and cheesy. Um, all right, we got Darlene. Yeah, yeah, you're you're working the if you got it up on here on the screen, then you got the tweet chat over here. Taser Fun's here. Whoop whoop. Um Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Rachel Wooldridge on the tweet chat pointed something out. It doesn't tweet out to all of our followers, does it? Um I think it probably does so if you want to put my name first like she did at Emily Noel 83 I don't know um yeah I want to go back to IMATS in New York for sure yes I do that was a blast and a half blast that was double that was a blast in two halves that was amazing okay mmm um, I am about to get to into St. Louis proper, to get into the city, um, I am about two hours, solid two hours from there. A little bit longer to get to the airport and a little bit less to get to the Metro East, Fairview Heights area. Um, <laughs> this might be too much technology for me, says Kristen Game. <laughs> I know. I'm going a little bit crazier because I'm going between two windows over here, got the video over here. 
We're just seeing how high tech we can be today. <gasps> Canadian geese! Flock of Canadian geese flying okay. in V formation. Mm. Oh um, my goodness. Oh, what a fantastic day. I, I saw a gorgeous sunrise, the sky as blue as can be, and I just saw a flock of Canadian geese flying in perfect V formation. That's wonderful. Yeah, we got a little little pond at the sort of at the end of our street, and uh, I think the geese sometimes congregate there. When it's really quiet in the morning, you can sometimes hear them squawking at each other. Yeah, if you're doing the tweet chat, you may. What I've got done is I've got two windows going in at the same time. Oh, Mariah's going to Sephora next week. Wants to know what your recommendations are, things that you that you love. Um. Well, let's see. I'm really liking the Lorac unzipped palette. I kind of can't shut up about that. Um. Yeah, so I, I love that. I've been wanting to, tr something I've been wanting to try is that Urban Decay Chill Spray, the setting spray. Um, I haven't tried that yet, so I'm not sure um, how well that works, but that's something I'm liking. I'm, I got this neat little, and I blogged about this, some of the Bite Beauty lipsticks. Really like those. These are, these are good, and I don't know if you can still find this set. You might find it discounted in the store. I got this online, and it's now sold out online. But still, they have the line of lipsticks, so hopefully, maybe it's a, uh, like some of the little puny Sephoras don't have all the stuff, but. Danny wants me to send her some of my energy. Okay, I'm sending the energy. <laughs> oh, Linda Webb wants some too. Here, Linda. Take it. <laughs> ah! Yeah, once you get two windows, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. And see, I gotta still. I don't want to. I don't want to leave out the people who are chatting on. You know the the YouTube comments. The YouTube. Um. So I'm. I'm just. Yeah. Bear with me. Oh, okay. Jamie has used the Urban Decay Chill Spray. It's good for dry skin, she says. I think it works as well as the all-nighter. Ooh, I, maybe I need to make this a little bigger because it's cutting off, but not as dry. Uh, shout out from Northern Ireland. Oh, nice. That's where a couple of golf that's that's where a couple of big time golfers are from. Uh, Graham McDowell and Roy Ma Rory McElroy. Do you does everybody love them there? Yeah, I've been watching golf. I'm holding this really funny. The only thing about the Waffle House mug is you... I like a good big handle that I can wrap my whole hand around, and I don't have big hands, but I can only get a few fingers in here. Ah! Uh, Ginger banned herself from buying makeup for three months. Mariah, if anything else pops into my head, which it likely will, um, as far as Sephora stuff, I will just I'll just blurt that out to you. Jennifer, everyone is here. <laughs> yes, you can tweet me, put my name first if you want to, to keep it from broadcasting to the masses of your Twitter feed, if you want. Or maybe they'll see it and they'll just be like, what is this hashtag BB Live? I should be taking part. Hmm. Okay, check on over here. Oh, free free Oli Oli says, "Woohoo! Beauty broadcast live is on for my birthday. Happy birthday to ya!" Oh, hi from Greece. International love. Everybody's getting a song today. I'm in a very musical mood. Very musical. Um, anybody watch the premiere of Duck Dynasty last night? Season premiere. Mm hmm Hi from Slovenia. Mm hmm Good morning, Spain. Yes. 
I'm always throwing out what little golf knowledge I have just to, you know, impress the bub and anyone else who cares. Oh, nice. Linda loves the Waffle House and their mugs. Oh, couldn't you use a delicious Waffle House waffle right now? Yes. How about some hash browns? I use the Remington Tea Studio Pearl, the smaller size. There's two sizes. I love those wands. I know a bunch of people talk about the new me stuff. They're, and I checked the prices, and those things are not cheap, really. And the Remington have not failed me. They get super hot. The curls last me for days if I want them to. And so I just put big chunks around it because my hair is kind of fine and I can get away with putting a lot of hair around at one time. Ask and you shall receive, Lindsay. <laughs> Minnesota needs a song. But anyways, those wands, I mean, get them at Walmart. They're like, I don't know, less than 20 bucks. They work fabulously. Hi, Belgium. Um, Minnesota. Um, every time I think of Minnesota, I think of the Minnesota cheerleaders when we competed there, and their cheer was Minnesota with their signage. Um, Emily wants a song. Okay, I'm just going to have to, this is what I'm going to have to just work on on my off time, is songs. Mm. Okay. Yeah! Love the international folks here. Um, Revlon's Naked Foundation, um, I've got reviews on that and the powder. It's good. I mean, I like it. Uh, I dig it. Um, that's the short answer. Hi from Southern California, Baton Rouge. <laughs> Operator, won't you put me on through? I'm going to send my love down to Baton Rouge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, using Remington too. I know, I'm sorry. It's going to be a hungry day for me as well, so I'm sorry I talked about waffles. Hoo -hoo. Oh, we're hashtagging Waffle House. <laughs> Lindsay, did, did you see me chipmunk? I did chipmunk real quick. It wasn't the official chipmunk of the day, but it happened. <laughs> um, okay, it's the Remington Tea Studio Pearl. They still selling those at like Walmart and Target and stuff. It's light pink. It has no clip on it, and it does come with a glove. But I feel like I'm too cool to use the glove, so I just burn my hand. <laughs> use the glove if you're <laughs> not sure about those. Good morning, Chicago. Sephora's Aerial Collection. Um, I have not uh, seen that enough to know. I think I maybe saw one quick pic on Pinterest. By the way, I got some ballin' jokes to tell you about that <laughs> I saw on Pinterest. Oh, do I have... Did I close out my email? No. Okay, I got it. Um, hi, Kim Eastwood from Ohio. Ooh, Sarahlicious Death is having coffee and one of my favorite cereals of all time, Cocoa Pebbles. What, what? Brittany? Oh, she's late. But you know what? Got get your tardy slip. That's right. We'll still let you in. Um, simply Maya Beauty, her and her boyfriend are celebrating two years together this month. That's awesome. Congrats. Two years is a long time. Ooh, hello from the Caribbean or Caribbean or Caribbean. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay, something froze. Mm. Yep. No glove, no glove, no glove. <laughs> oh, thank you. Danny, Danny just tweeted, tweeted a link. You know what? I love the best hour of the Today Show. Ginger just brought up the Today Show. I think this is timing out pretty accurately. Um, but... The best hour of the Today Show by far is the Hoda and Kathy Lee half, or hour. Love Hoda and Kathy Lee. They kill me. 
They're so funny. I mean, I didn't remember Kathy Lee being that funny when I saw her on live with Regis, but I don't know. <laughs> They're funny together. Um, Spain. Uh, Lily just got off work. L.A. traffic is the worst. Woo. Beth's here. Got her tardy slip. Linda's got coffee and unsalted roasted almonds. First time back here in a few weeks. Well, welcome. It's good to have you back again. Coffee and banana cream pie. Darlene, I want some. Mm. Spilled. Forgot how full my cup was, and I and I just spilled it. Not on the shirt though, just on my pants. Oh, Jan from Benjabel is here. She's playing hooky from work while Benny handles everything. <laughs> Welcome. I won't tell. Or I just kind of told, but. Oh, thank you. So have you guys all entered the super cool giveaway? Have you? Have you entered yet? Um, yeah, that video went up last night. I'm doing a big giveaway on my channel. I knew I wanted to do an updated makeup starter kit. And so, yeah, I'm going to give away three full kits it's everything I recommend. Nothing was... The, the thing that I don't like... Well, there's a couple things I don't like about giveaways. I mentioned one in the video that um, I feel like only a few people get to benefit from the giveaway. And a lot of people will watch, but it's like only one person gets a giveaway. But anyway, the other thing I don't really like about it is I feel like giveaways kind of get a bad rap just from the viewer's perspective. I know me personally, when I see giveaway, and I know not all are like this, but a lot of times when I see giveaway, I think, sponsored. I think that person got that thing for free and they were told they could give one away because I know because I get tons and tons of emails offering to send me something, pay me something, and send me some more to give away. And I, I'm not into that. So, when I and when I see it, I think, oh, does everybody just think a giveaway is just a you know you, not really giving away something you absolutely love, but just something you got sent. So what I did for this was I wanted it to be total things that I feel very strongly about. And you know, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know I've talked about a lot of these things a lot. I want it to be all things of my own choosing and. Um, mainly stuff that I'm going to go out and buy, although I did ask, I asked if Sigma and the Balm wanted to participate, and they said they did, but they didn't, you know, put the stuff off on me and say, hey, give this away. So I, I definitely chose all the products that I wanted to include, and I wanted it to be a very, you know, true, things that are great for a starter kit, and then there's going to be three tutorials. They're going to come bam, 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 starting on... Uh, well, not really bam, 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 but there's going to be um, one going up Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday. So it's going to go every other day. And it's going to be three totally different tutorials using only the things in the kit. So um, I'm really excited about that. And I was inspired to do that. I thought about it a long time ago when Mass. Kara, um, I've talked about her blog before, but she did kind of an idea of a makeup starter kit and then several different looks going off of it. And so I, I really was kind of inspired to do that at some point, and I thought this was the right time. Um, back to school makes sense, but I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be just a school supply thing because not everybody's going back to school, right? I mean, I want to go back to college, but I can't, so. Uh, Stephanie, first time she's been up early enough to watch live. Yeah, not every giveaway um, is, is some sort of sponsored thing, but I think sometimes, I think when certain companies get involved, it, just the perception, I don't know. 
you're just you know, straight from my brain activity out my mouth is what's happening right now. Um, no offense to anybody who does giveaways and buys stuff or, or you know, has a totally different um, purpose behind it. But yeah, I really love all the things. I just want you to know that I really love all the stuff in the starter kit. And I'm going to be so excited to send those out to the people who win. Um, yeah, I wanted to have a purpose. You know, I didn't want it to be just some out of the blue giveaway. Oh, Linda's taking a class. Linda, let's go back to college together. Start our own sorority or something. Um, Good deal. Yeah, and it's totally open internationally. Um, completely open to all viewers, no matter what country you are in. So, um, tricky thing was the foundation colors, but I will I will cover that. I mean, I, we will figure that out. So you can get it if you want it or get you the money and you can use it that way. Does the number of times you comment on the video affect your chances of winning? Um, I would think since the per winner's going to be randomly selected, so if your name is is in there more times, you're going to have a better chance of being randomly selected, right? Probability gets better instead of a one in however many of entered chance you would have a you know four or five or however many times you want to comment chance. So yeah, it would give you a better chance. So, and it's going to be open for a while. It's going to be open till the end of the month, but those, like I said, those tutorial videos will be coming right away. And if you've already got the stuff, you know, you can work on it and, and do those looks. Or if you're holding out for whether or not you get the stuff in the giveaway, it'll be there for you indefinitely. It'll be there for you forever. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it, it just to to reiterate, like I'm I'm not trying to anybody who does giveaways often out of the goodness of their heart, you know, good for them. Good for them. I just don't want um I don't want my opinion on things to be watered down, so to speak, or somebody to think, oh, this is just a bunch of stuff that she just got dumped on her and she's just giving it away. No, stuff I love. Enough on that topic. Okay, somebody mentioned the news. And you guys, I had the wildest dream right before waking up this morning. I had a dream that I was back on the news, and it was like I was... Um, it, it wasn't like I was in the midst of when I was working there. In this dream, I reappeared on the set. And they're like, oh, wow, you're back. Welcome back. And I was causing a complete ruckus. I was being totally obnoxious. I was singing. I was dancing. It was like I was doing every little thing that I wished, like secretly inside of me, I wished I could do, but I was just actually doing it live on the air and did not care. And nobody else seemed to care either. Like nobody cares in my dreams. Usually I'm the one who cares, but even in this dream, I was going nuts and I didn't care about it. So. Yeah. Serena, have fun at work. Thanks for joining in. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that dream came from, but I was just being a complete crazy type. I mean, it was just going nuts. Oop. All right. I'm sorry, I'm trying to check back and forth on the various screens. Isn't that sad that um, Gia from The Bachelor, um, she was on Jake Pavelka's season. She died. I think they're, they're calling it an apparent suicide. Um, that's so sad. I always thought, man, she's so beautiful. She seems really nice. You never know. 
is that not what something we talk about sometimes on here? You never know what somebody's issue is. Um, Stephanie says, happy to tune in for the first time. Get the inspiration to do my makeup after I watch your videos. Yay! I feel the same way after I watch some YouTube videos. I'm like, I want to get in there and do a new makeup look today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the waves, I used the Remington T-Studio styling wand, and I feel the need to flip it over. <laughs> That's the thing. When I'm doing big hair like this, you just got to flip it around sometimes. Flip it. Flip it. Um... You want to... I'm going to tell you guys some of the awesome kind of cheesy jokes and things. Um, on Pinterest, by the way, I was recently on Pinterest pinning more than usual. And have you guys seen that people are taking a waffle iron, they're putting tater tots in it, and making a giant waffle hash brown? Have you seen that? Have you guys seen that? Yeah. That was awesome. That was one amazing thing I saw. Um, also, what is... Okay, I'm trying to get this joke right. I'm trying to think hard before I do this. Um, what is the difference between a cat and a comma? I'm going to pause and let you think about it a little bit. Mm. What is the difference between a cat and a comma? A cat has claws on the end of its paws, but a comma is a pause at the end of a claws. Ah! I thought I laughed forever yeah. last night. When I saw that, I called my mom and I, I told her that. Epic hair flip. Thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, giant waffle hash browns. <laughs> okay, now that I can see just about how off-timing-wise things are from what I'm saying, but yeah, I, uh, I thought that looked so good, the giant waffle hash brown, but that joke killed me last night. Um, also, there was something funny that was up there, and it said, true love is sharing your starburst with someone and giving them a red or a pink one. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Aren't those the best ones and those are the flavors everybody always wants? Totally. You should have seen Rachel Ray Waffle Week. Rachel Ray... Say that ten times fast. Rachel Ray Waffle Week. Rachel Ray Waffle Week. They did tons of stuff with waffle irons like a brownie waffle. Ugh. Yeah. And I think I, I did my best waffle thing that I've done was cornbread in the waffle iron with some chili on top and some cheese melted on top of that. Yeah. That's good. Yay! The tweet chat is working. And if you don't want your tweet to publish to the masses, you can put at Emily Noel 83 at the top of it. Or at the front of it. Um, what else do I have? What else do I have for you here? Um, oh, I have an Instagram recommendation for you guys. If you um, enjoy Instagram and checking out all the beautiful pictures, there is some some place I follow on there, and it is uh, Flawless Faces Makeup. Flawless Faces Makeup. And they are actually like a, a makeup boutique or something. No, they don't. Let me just describe to you what they are straight off their profile. Um, shoot. Is that the right? Yeah. Flawless Faces Makeup. We are a makeup and skincare lounge in Costa Mesa, California. And I think I learned about them because one of the Real Housewives had said that Flawless Faces did their makeup, and then I went to their profile, and they are always putting out these awesome before and afters of the people they're working on. I love a good before and after. So they'll do, like, little side-by-side -side pictures. They do a lot of bridal stuff. Um, just 
I don't know. It's just nice inspiration, and they do some great pictures and great work. So, Flawless Faces Makeup. They're, it's not a makeup guru. It is an actual makeup and skincare lounge, and they've got multiple people working there and doing these cool little things. So, um, yeah. So... Yes, I'm checking out the comments here and there. But I would say follow them, and if you like, if you like Kathy Lee and Hoda like I do, follow KLG and Hoda as well. They um, <laughs> they do some funny, funny pictures on there as well. Um, Sandra's going to the doctors today to figure out why she's been having so much heartburn lately. Best thing to do is go to the doctor, though, right? Figure it out. Oh, thank you so much. Well done, Beauty. Give me that link. Um, since you tweeted me, I'll be able to... I'll make sure I check that out afterward. I don't want to overwhelm my computer with doing too much stuff at one time. <laughs> we all know how that ends. Then that some little blue guy um, comes up. Uh, Erica Noel says, why are people so fast to judge you? I mean, you're doing an amazing giveaway, and people just say how companies pay you for reviews. Um, I didn't know people were judging me on my giveaway, but, I mean, it doesn't really sh shock me that somebody would say something mean, but, um, no, I, I, it's, it was all my own personal decision to do the giveaway, to include certain things in the giveaway, so, yep. That is it, it. It is what exactly as I say it is. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I've I've seen a lot of positive comments about it, but I haven't really seen any bad stuff. But uh, what do we say about the bad stuff? We pull the blind over it, <laughs> and we continue being happy about what we're doing. By the way, um. I don't know if anybody here is into, I saw your phone case, and I'm like, what the heck is she doing with that palette? Yeah, that's my phone case. <laughs> um, I don't know if any, any of you are into uh, devotional type books, but I got this one recently on sale from, I think it was christianbook.com, and it's Joyce Meyer's The Confident Woman Devotional. And I tell you what, this what brought me to this thought was, you know, negativity, whatever, and kind of keeping your mind in the right place. And I really like this, and I didn't know if anybody else might happen to be reading it, because the way these go is there's a certain devotional for each each day. It's literally dated, so you can follow each day. And if anybody else was reading this, it's like we're reading the same thing every day. So I thought I'd mention that. I'm liking that lately. Um, I either read it in the... I like reading it in the morning sometimes. Sometimes I read it at night, but... I thought I'd share in case anybody has it. I thought that'd be cool if somebody happened to have it. We were reading the same material. Um, name of my Instagram is Emily Noel 83 just like the YouTube channel. National holiday in Portugal. Party on. <sighs> uh, Cupcake is probably napping right now. I will get her shortly. Face of the day. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel, you can be the producer today. You just tell me what to do, when to move on. <laughs> oh, Wendy, you've got the book. Yeah, I've also read Joyce Meyer's Starting Your Day Right, Ending Your Day Right. Um, and so now I'm doing this one. Pull the blinds over it, yep. Hashtag be bold, don't care. Um, okay, face of the day. I'm using the It Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil. I really like this primer. Wow, my, it makes my nails look really white beside it. My nails are light purple. But I'm using that. It's very smooth. It's not too, um, it's not too thick with moisture. But I still feel like it does kind of even out the, any patchiness. Really trying to figure out what I think about the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Stick. Um, looks like this. A lot of reviews have been done. I don't know how 
people can review foundations so fast. Um, I guess they're called first impressions a lot of times, but it takes me so long to figure out exactly how that's working and if I'm breaking out because of it. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think it stays looking super fresh. But I'm. I'm kind of enjoying the coverage. Um, so there's that. I'm going to switch on over here, take a look at the comments on this side. Yeah, I think my mom has Battlefield of the Mind. Uh, Joyce Meyer. Yep, yep. So, anyways, um, jury's still out on this one. I'm, I'm still working on it. Um, I have been in the habit of using two concealers all the time. And I use one for coverage, and I use one for brightening. So an example of that today is my one for coverage is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Amazing coverage. I mean, it can take a foundation that maybe isn't looking, not saying this one particularly, but any foundation that's not maybe working exactly as you wish, and really cover up those problem areas. So there's that. And then for brightness, I'm using the Dream Lumi and Ivory. And I just did that kind of on top of this area right in here, down the nose, um, that kind of thing. Um, for my powder, I just set it all with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I used this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, it's a national holiday in Spain as well. Okay. Good for y'all. Mm, Ginger's up too early because of the power outage this morning. Oh, awesome! <laughs> um, this is the uh, Laura Geller Baked Sculpting Bronzer and Highlighter Palette in regular slash tan. I got a couple things when Laura Geller was on Hot Look recently. And I got this, which the bronzers are shimmery. I mean, especially that lighter one. And this is a little, a lot lighter and more shimmery than Laura Geller's French Vanilla Highlight. So, I don't know. It's just, I used it really lightly, that kind of bronzer. Just a dusting, and I used the highlight as my highlight. But this, um, this is the Blush and Brighten and Dream Sickle. And I love this blush. It's got yellow and peach and pink coral. It's gorgeous. And it's not even like it may have looked shimmery the way I was holding it there, but it's not. Love this color. Uh, Taser Fun, do you remember what foundation you wore on Friday? Was it Double Wear? Oh, I met Taser Fun on Friday at my sister's art show. <laughs> And it was amazing. And she is gorgeous and so nice. And so is her husband. But I was wearing actually a combo of MAC Pro Longwear. And I mixed uh, a mix of MAC Pro Longwear and L'Oreal Dream Lumi. And it had been on for a long time since then. So thank you for saying it looked all right. <laughs> oh, also, yeah, that, that's awesome. I put an Instagram picture up of us together. She's so nice. Um, I used a little bit of the Bare Minerals Well Rested just to set the under eye a bit, by the way. Oops. Lost something. It's almost midnight in Singapore. For the eyeshadow, I used my, um, this is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I went back to a little palette that I absolutely love. And it's been a while since I've used it. But this is Bare Minerals, the finer things. And this is just a gorgeous palette. And I've used it way more than it may even indicate here, but it, it's one of those kinds of shadows that doesn't take a lot. Um, okay. I just opened up the other uh, side of the comments, so I'm trying to refer to both here. Um, so, anyways, this... I'm not sure where you can find this still. I know this came out before the holidays, but I'm wearing this pretty taupe all over my lids. I'm wearing the matte gray in the crease, the black in the outer corner, and I blended out the edge of everything with this bronze. Okay? Golden bronze. Very pretty. Um, 
what did I do on the lower lash line? Smudge some of the black and the gray. I was going for like kind of a, you know, rocker. <laughs> Uh, or somebody somebody requested bad girl makeup. I don't know if this is bad girl makeup, but I like I like the look. It's pretty much the dramatic end of what this palette can do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's got some lighter shades and some different colors, like a light green and then in blue and different stuff. But I think this is kind of the the edgier side of that palette. So still going, still going. Um, I used an eyeliner I don't like, Milani Eye Tech Bold. And, yeah, I did mess up the line twice because I've got my other one in my starter kit bag because I wanted to – I'm still shooting – still have one more tutorial that I need to shoot with that, so I'm keeping it all together. Um, lined the waterline with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Pencil right there. Um, I use something I don't like in my brows. This is a Milani Easy Brow, and it's a super soft, soft pencil. Like, I got too much going on in there and had to try to brush through it and, and shear it out, and it was just not good. Um, for the eyes, I've had this Hourglass Film Noir mascara for a while. I mentioned this on my blog. You can get a closer look at the wand, maybe. Yeah. Fierce. Thank you, Ginger. Um, I like this short bristles on the wand. Sorry, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And I'm liking it. I am liking it, but it, it reminds me a lot of the effect I get from the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy volume. So, yep. Uh, a little Maybelline Lash Discovery on the lower lashes. And then, the lips. This is Milani Lip Flash in Flashy. Extreme close-up here. This is like a, it's got some sparkle in it. It's bold. Let's just give us another coat here. It's kind of metallic. I think I did a blog with all of the lip flashes on my lips, but it was a while ago. Go to beautybroadcast.net and search Milani Lip Flash, and you can get an even better look. But it's sparkly. And it looks like gloss, but it, there's no gloss. Okay, and just to clarify, this is not one of those like super moisturizing or lip balm like pencils. This is like a full color lipstick in a pencil. So that's that. <laughs> Why do we all feel the need to say that? Like after we just get done making a statement about something, I hear that all the time in videos too, and I and I say it as well. Like. You get done talking about something, and then you say, so that's that. <laughs> well, of course that's that. But it was a while ago. Um, Mama Go Sita. To broadcast. Yeah, dope. Tardy with the darty slip. Thank you. Yes, my pet turtle. Welcome. I love your name. Um, feed's still going. Feet's still going. Okay. So, yeah, that's the face of the day, everyone. Th uh, thank you for your questions and comments about it. Um, one thing is if I could just get an even bigger monitor and fit one more screen in. Um... Erica Noel, thank you so much. That's very nice of you to say that it looks good close up or far away, but I think what's helping me out here is the very poor quality of the webcam. <laughs> so you can even get really close to it, and things are going to look pretty smoothed over. <laughs> oh, love it. Um, cherry Culture? I would think so. Cherry Culture seems to have all things Milani past and present, so... Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, if you like a fuchsia, and it really, look at this. On my shirt, this is so glittery. So, it really totally matches. Like, this is what it looks like on my lips. If you were an animal, what would you be? Well, hmm. What would I be? I, th I feel like I've had this conversation with someone before. I think I would be a chipmunk. 
segue, we're chipmunking now. If you are at home, if you've got your children around, pause up. That's chipmunking. It's not supposed to look cute. It's supposed to look funny. So you can do that. You can uh, photobomb somebody sometime. Get back in there and start doing this. If you've got to do a goofy face as part of a bridal party, do this. Um, if you're at work, though, you may not want everybody, you, you don't want to necessarily attract a lot of attention to yourself while you chipmunk because, you know, some people judge. Not that you should be concerned about that, but if you're in a professional environment, I understand your concerns about chipmunking. So, what you may want to do is just in a very subtle way, put your paws just about up at this level. Done. But make sure you scope out to the left and the right first. And then you see if anybody's watching you. And then maybe you check it out again afterward just to see if anybody saw it. And if somebody did catch you doing that, invite them to the party. That's all I can say. Does the lipstick dry out your lips? Um, I don't find it to be drying. But I also don't find it to be moisturizing. <laughs> Epic review! <laughs> no, I, I feel like it's it's definitely not adding any moisture to my lips, but I don't think it's taking any away. It's keeping me at an even keel. And I think it could be great if you put a lip balm under this, by the way. Lip balm under it. Thank you, Sonia. Sonia likes my fierce makeup look today. Thank you, m'lady. Um, there should be a BB Live jingle. Yes. On my nails, this is from CoverGirl, and I tried really hard to use the tips that the professional manicurist used when I was in New York, and I didn't quite succeed, but I thought I did a pretty good job, and I kind of kept the same shape. They've grow out a, grown out a bit since then, but kind I tried to keep the shape she had going for me, and it's the Outlast Stay Brilliant and Lav Endure. Lavender, not lavender. They're trying to be cute. Lavender. It's pretty, creamy, no shimmer, still cute. And I was able to find the oil that she used on my cuticles. It comes in a box like this, and it's Essie Apricot. And I swear it was so nice. And after she did away with any, like, hangnail issues I was having, she put this on and just left it. Like she said, like she put quite a bit on. You could see it. It was not all rubbed in. And she's like, just let that sit for a while. And I did, and then I started rubbing it in, and it was like, wow, these are my hands feel so soft and wonderful. But the bottle looks like that. It's kind of an orange color. Apricot, apricot, whatever. Um, cuticle oil. Hydrate and revitalize. It's from Essie. So I haven't used that yet on, on these here nails, but I plan to. Nothing like sheets that have been dried on the line. Mmm. You know, isn't it the little things? Isn't it the little stuff like that? Like seeing, you know, the, the pretty sunrise or, you know, those little things. Like if we go through each day not letting those little things sink in, you know, isn't that what it's all about? Ugh. Yeah, we could have sneaky chipmunked on Friday, Taser. What were we thinking? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, this hair. My hair has some long layers in it, and the layers get a little bit shorter. Like, I've got shorter stuff. The little going stuff on. like that, like seeing, you know, the, the pretty sunrise. Oh, seeing the pretty sunrise. <laughs> I was refreshing this page so I can see what everybody's talking about. Okay, good. Oil smells amazing. Oh, Beth, you're here. You got your tardy slip. Thank you for acknowledging that. It's very important. Martha's here from Croatia. Have you ever felt lost in your personal life, and what did you do? Lost in your personal life. Um, I'm trying to think where you're going with that question. Like, I'm, I'm not quite sure what... It's a very broad question. Um, 
felt lost in your personal life. Um, well, I think maybe if, if, if someone was to feel lost in their personal life, maybe they're lacking some sort of like passion or something to get excited about, you know, or something they're involved with or people they're involved with. So, yeah, hashtag little things. Hashtag be bold. Um, but I don't know. I think maybe maybe you're at a point where if you feel lost, like you need to start putting yourself out there to try some new things, seeing if there's something you love you've been missing out on. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a tough question, but that's kind of what I'm what I'm taking. Oh, lost in your professional life. Was that the same question, or did I read personal life first? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Getting off on a tangent, answering completely qu wrong question. Um, lost in your professional life. Professional life, yes. Um, well, lost in your professional life. Um, maybe, uh, maybe it's easier to feel that way when you are kind of on your own. Like I could feel I feel like I ha could potentially feel kind of lost in what I'm doing now, you know, because I'm my own boss and I'm kind of determining what I'm going to do with my time and determining for myself, you know, when I'm going to do videos and what I'm going to do them on and I think it could be easy to be overwhelmed or lost in that sort of a situation, but I do think time helps things like that. Like I'm no spring chicken where the YouTube thing is concerned. So I've been doing it a while. I started when YouTube was young and I, you know, have had a lot of time to adjust myself, learn what works for my channel, what works for me, um, what I like doing. And so I think maybe maybe time is something that has an effect on whether you, you whether or not you feel lost. When I was in the news, I mean, that job was all about structure. Everything was structured, you know, the, uh, on a very rough schedule, but nothing was going to change on that, you know. When I started anchoring, it was very structured. When I was reporting, my life felt all over the place. So maybe I did feel a little bit lost when I was just reporting at the station because each day was such a mixed bag, and I think I craved a little more... Um, certainty or a little more routine than what that was giving me. Like I could go in and be working on a story, enjoying the story I was working on, and then be pulled off of it for some other reason because there was a bigger thing going on. And so that kind of could frustrate me or make me feel a little bit like, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah, um, well done, Beauty said. I felt lost in my career. Read "Let Your Life Speak" by Parker Palmer. It's a short meditation on the subject, and it's wonderful. She says, "Let Your Life Speak" is the book. I take it it's a book by Parker Palmer. Also, look up Ramit. <laughs> I I talk about Ramit at least like once a month on here, but Ramit Sethi is a great resource for um, getting your focus, getting your um, Achieving your goals where your where your professional or work life is concerned. It's tough to feel secure in your career. That's a good point. Bad economy. I mean, that can be tough. Oh, Ashley Analysis has good news. She passed her NCLEXRN, and she is a registered nurse. Woohoo! Yay! Good for you. That's awesome. And by the way, I was noticing um, it was so funny in the comments of the giveaway. I asked to enter, people should either tell me what they're looking forward to about the school year or a favorite school memory if they're already out of school. And I love, some people gave like a really quick comment like, I'm looking forward to make, making friends. And you know, that's cool. That's, that's all good. But I loved how some people gave me like a full story about <laughs> like something totally in depth and detail because I was reading them last night and absolutely loving it. And there's so many people who are like, oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my PhD or I'm, you know, doing this for nursing school or 
we have so many fantastically wonderful people in all professions that are watching these videos. I think that's so cool, and that really like came out to me as I was reading all the schooling people were doing, you know, <laughs> last night in the in the comments. So. Yeah. So, it's. I think it's possible to feel burnout on something too. Yeah. Somebody mentioned feeling burnout or needing to take a break. Disconnect. Darlene says, by disconnect she means shutting off all computers, cell phones, TVs, radios. That's helpful too. Feeling easy to feel overwhelmed. Yes. Okay, let me open this up real quick. Mm. Linda Webb says, congrats to Ashley. I worked as a nurse for years. Rewarding career. Going to refresh this page here. Thank you, Beth. I'm glad you enjoyed the look. I just went all out crazy today on the makeup look. Say hello to Norway. I've been a fan for four years. Oh, Norwegian. Tyler's Norwegian. Mm-hmm. Yep, Norway. His great-grandfather was the first of his family to come over here to the United States. Yeah, homesteaded up in North Dakota. So, much love to the Norwegians. <laughs> oh. Just bought another Wet n Wild palette. You got me hooked. Hit pan on two of the trios because I love them for every day. That's awesome. I need a good highlighter brush. Any recommendations? Ooh. Um, yes, yes, yes. Let me show you. I love this tapered highlight brush from, sorry, tapered highlight brush from Sigma. This is the one I use a lot. There's also an option if you prefer real techniques, kind of similar. These two. This one from Real Techniques. This is called the Tapered Highlighter from Sigma. This one from Real Techniques is called the Contour Brush, actually. But both, both are a nice little size to get up in here. You can buff a little bit if you want to, or you can just kind of tap, and it gives you a good, good little size there, a nice effect. Yes, indeed. Uh, Raina says, when I feel lost in my professional life, I just bake. <laughs> Tell us about Tyler. Oh, what about Tyler? What should we share about him? Um, well, he's six foot six. Physically, he is like the opposite of me. He's tall, light, blonde, blue eyes, and I am small and, and just deeper complected and, um, yeah. <laughs> so that's, it's kind of funny we ended up together. But, yeah, all his sisters, his whole family, tall, blonde. Um, he is the same, well, I am a month older than Tyler. He, I was born in December of 1983. He was born in January 1984. Um, he's originally from North Dakota and he had family more near the area where I'm from in the Midwest and they made the move when he was in high school and so it's possible they were actually considering buying a house in an area that would have put the, them, him and his family totally in a different school district but they didn't and, like, it's possible I would have never met him, but we did, and it's so, we met in high school, and um, I've talked about that whole thing about <laughs> our relationship stuff, but anything else about him that's just interesting or quirky or odd, um, he loves, like, red licorice, like Twizzlers, um, or the Nibs, He's he will want those, like, if we're driving somewhere, he'll want those, um, he can drink anything <laughs> like like he water he just drink a bunch of it uh, pop beer I mean 
<laughs> he can consume a lot of liquid. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Um, but yeah, he's always got a—he's always staying hydrated most of the time. Um, he played football in high school and college. He was a um, on defense, defensive end, defensive tackle. Um, what did I say? I said how tall he is. He's so much taller than me. So we got a kick out of this shirt this morning. I'm not short on fun size. <laughs> um, he is absolutely supportive of me in every facet of this YouTube and, and the stuff I do. And he is just a great sounding board when I come up with new ideas. I'm always passing stuff by him. And I think he's learned that, um, I don't know, how important he is to me in that respect as well. Like I, I feel like he's kind of my partner in this, even though I'm the one doing all these videos and he will occasionally appear and pop in and stuff, but he's very, um, he's really good at helping me develop my ideas and my plans and I've got a big thing coming um, that I'm, I'm working on that I'm kind of working on the framework for and it's going to be a great addition to what I do on YouTube. It's also going to be on YouTube. Um, but it's going to be something just, I think what I said last week was taking me back to my roots. <laughs> uh, and it, it's just going to be a lot of fun for me and I hope everybody who watches. So anyways, um, yeah, Tyler is just a, he's a great personality contrast to who I am as well. Um, he's very calm, he's very, you know, but but he can be so goofy around me, and I don't know that everybody else gets to see that, but um, it's, it, he's, he's just a lot of fun. He's a great, great person, just inside and out. Um, did you ever get used to being recognized in public? Um, I don't know, a lot. From the news, people, I mean, like if I'm getting groceries or something like that, or it's always a grocery thing, and usually when I've got something unhealthy in my cart, somebody comes by and <laughs> knows who I am. Oh, you're the girl from the news! That's probably the most common comment, and, and um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy getting to meet people like that, and, um, as long as they don't judge what's in my shopping cart. <laughs> Does a month difference make you a cougar? Oh, good lord, I hope not. Um, but there are, there are a lot of times when I'll go somewhere and sometimes, uh, you know, nobody knows who I am. Or I get, I get weird looks a lot, too, especially when I'm a with Tyler, like, I feel like somebody will look over at me and kind of give me this look like, and then she'll, they'll talk to the person next to him like, isn't that the girl from the new, like, nobody's exactly sure because I'm shorter than anyone expects me to be, always, always shorter than anyone envisions, so. Uh, Battle of MAC lipstick, cream cup or hot gossip, having a dilemma. Mm. Well, they're two very different shades. Cream cup is going to be more nude. Um, a nude pink, and Hot Gossip has a little more depth to it, a little more pink in it. Um, oh, Sandra's got to mute for a bit because Big Boss is around. <laughs> hey, if I, does, does it matter if I do something really obnoxious? <laughs> what are you watching, says Big Boss. Um, no, I understand. I'll behave myself momentarily. Somebody's drilling something over there. But I like both those lipsticks. I probably prefer Hot Gossip a little bit more, but... Oh, Dawn's here! Dawn, Dawn is one of the few people in this area who knows... <laughs> She watched when I was on the news, but she knows me from this YouTube stuff as well. And so we met at Buffalo Wild Wings and just had a hell of a time. It was fun. I, I keep saying, I hope we run into each other again at B-dubs. That was awesome. Um, yeah, as far as, I think more people um, in, in this area will contact me, like, 
I know there are people who live in this area who are watching on YouTube, but I'm going to be more likely to like talk to them on Twitter or Facebook or something like that as opposed to always just running into them in in public. Um, uh, Kathy Smith asked a good question. How do you get makeup residue like dark eyeshadow off your brushes from day to day? So like in between your deep cleanings, um, what do you do to get rid of that? Well, I like to take my brush cleaner spray, which you could put, um, you could also use a wet ones wipe. I've done that too. Um, but I take my brush cleaner that I've made and I've got it in a spray bottle. You could also like put your MAC brush cleaner in a spray bottle or something like that. Any kind of liquidy type brush cleaner. Uh, Sonia Kashuk makes one too. But I will spritz it on a tissue. Just moisten the tissue a little bit. Uh, let's find a brush that I use. And I use this brush today. And it really does a good job of getting rid of some of the product. And it dries very quickly. So the brush is practically ready to be used immediately. So that's what I do just for a quick thing. Um, I've, got, well, I've got a little bottle of this, i got a little bottle of water, and a little bottle of alcohol. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol. <laughs> it's got a little bottle of booze right over here. No, just kidding. Joking. Did anybody catch in the giveaway where I said I'm giving away uh, just partially used makeup? <laughs> uh, Ginger says, anyone looking for followers on Twitter, you can follow me. Yeah, follow Ginger. She's got a great blog, Beauty Travel 80. Um, I follow back unless you're a perv. <laughs> Ginger, by the way, I liked your comment entry into the giveaway. That was great. Um, Deep cleaning my brushes. Okay, um, something I've found that works amazing for like the F80s and these really dense ones are um, is the Philosophy Purity, and Kristen Gain told me to do that, and it really works well. I mean, it, it cleans them out fast, and it cleans them out very thoroughly. So I've been using that like just for this kind, and then um, I've kind of realized that the Sonia Kashuk stuff... Um, it was actually taking me longer to clean them than it than it needed to compared to baby shampoo. So lately my thing is, and I feel like I'm I'm washing brushes, I'm getting a lot better at it than I used to, partially because I've got a couple things that just make it fun. Yes, fun. Um my my Sigma glove and my Benjabel brush trees. So and they dry out faster. It's just a better experience for me. <laughs> and so I use Pretty much I've been using baby shampoo on everything with the exception of these. I use a little bit, and it only takes a little bit of the purity. And yeah, it really scrubs up and lathers up on that glove. So, um, um, Somebody's just vacuuming out a car. Yep, that's definitely what that sound is. Um, new to Twitter, took me an hour to put up a dang picture. <laughs> Welcome. This is my coffee. I'm having uh, the, I think it's the donut shop kind. Uh, Jenna Style says, if you have a child that is a girl... How will you let her wear makeup, seeing that she wants to wear makeup? Okay, so like if she's interested in it, what will she be allowed to do? Well, first off, I'm going to let her figure out whether or not she wants to be interested in it. You know, I mean, I am I think it would be awesome if she was, uh, but I, I don't really believe in forcing one's own interest on... I think a child is going to be happiest when they can roam and try a ton of different things and figure out what really suits them. I mean, I think they're going to be happiest and most successful in life when they can just kind of find their own way. But um, if they are interested in makeup, um, I'm going to just say, you know, six years old, full face. No. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't know. What is the right time? Junior high? For me, it was junior high. Um, and it was my later junior high years, like 7th or 8th grade. And it was just a little bit at that time. I think keep it age appropriate, you know. And I think we all, d does anybody else feel this way? Like we all grow up soon enough, enjoy, the, enjoy your childhood, feel like you're a child, you know, like enjoy that time. So I don't want to prematurely take that away from, from any kid, you know. Uh, <laughs> but I hope that made sense. Well done, Beauty wasn't allowed to wear makeup until she was 16, so she put makeup on in the bathroom when she got to school every morning. <laughs> I remember seeing girls doing that when I was in school. <laughs> I love, uh, Ginger, oh, Ginger makes a good point. I love naps as an adult, hated them as a kid. Are you nervous, anxious about turning 30 this year? Um, no, I'm excited because if I turn 30, can't that be one heck of a party? Like that is a landmark birthday, right? 29 is like, well, here I am, I'm 29. But if I turn 30, like that's going to be a, like a reason to really have a huge party. So maybe I could host... Uh, here I go daydreaming again, but maybe I could just host a big beauty broadcast gathering here at my house. Big beauty broadcast sleepover. Just come in, you know, we, we'll eat, we'll do makeup, we'll dress up, we'll play games. I don't know. I like the way that sounds. Or, or I, And then we'll broadcast it on here for all the people who can't come. Seriously, whatever I do for my 30th birthday, I'm going to broadcast it on here. Yeah. That's for sure. Any Jackie appearances coming up? Um, I still have a video to post with Mom, and I think I'll do it. I may do it after this whole starter kit series wraps up, because in case you missed the point of the giveaway video, it's a, um, it's a starter kit that I talked about, and then three separate tutorials to follow. So once that wraps up, you're going to see my mom's lip picks, favorite lip products. Think of all the alcohol. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh, thank you. Um, Vi, Vi Dada Nerd says, Thank you for not only teaching us about makeup, but teaching us how to speak English. That is that is too cool. I got a um, message from someone from, oh, where was she from? Was it the Philippines? No. Malaysia? Why Those two countries are sticking out to me. Um, and she said that she works at a call center there, and she and her coworkers watch beauty broadcast for the makeup, but for the for speaking as well. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, so cool. Yeah, I've got my friend uh, Kaylee has been in some stuff as well. So check uh, vlogs here and there. Um, we don't live super close. I just... One thing, though, and I, I like I wanted to put David in a video as well, but I don't like to make people feel like being my friend, my personal friend, means having to make an appearance online because that's not everybody's bag. You know, that's not everybody's bag of tricks is wanting to be online like this. You know, I don't mind it, but, um, and I kind of forced my mom into it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. But not every person enjoys that, and they don't have to. So I don't want to ever make people feel like, oh, if you're going to come over, you've got to be, you know, on camera or something, you know. And I can kind of sense um, when I can kind of sense sometimes when certain people aren't just, you know, not wanting to go there. So I don't ever want to make people uncomfortable. Um, but like I said, Mom. I just, 
I know she needs to be doing this. So. <laughs> I, I love having mom on because she offers a perspective I cannot offer. And I think it's so great because there are people of all ages watching, and I love that she's able to give a, a totally different, you know, background, different approach to makeup to people. Thank you. Um, I really felt like I learned to enunciate more when I did the news, and I don't think, um, I don't think that'll ever leave me. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I there was the whole news voice thing last week. Like somebody was complaining about it, and I sent out a snarky tweet saying, uh, "Somebody doesn't like my news voice. Why don't you dig deeper, like the person last week who doesn't like how I breathe?" Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was feeling mischievous when I said that, but really, I, I'm trying to see the humor in all of it. But bottom line, news voice equals my voice. You know, my voice is my voice, and sometimes you know you speak in goofy voices or whatever. But bottom line, my voice is the way it is, and. Like, I can't imagine, like, having to sit here and talk a different way or change that or adjust that or something, like, because I didn't really do that for the news either. I've always had a slightly, well, for quite a while, I feel like I've had a deepish voice. If you've ever heard my mom and my sister talk, they've had that too. Um, but, like... I don't make an effort to talk a certain way. I just talk, and it comes out that way. Like, if I were sitting here talking to Tyler, I would sound the same way as I do if I'm sitting here with a camera on me. Does that make sense? I don't know. Yay! Thank you, Nancy. Nancy just turned 20. Yeah, um, so I've got some Avon and some Mark. That's another thing coming post- uh, starter kit series because I'm going to split it up. I've got quite a bit of each and I'm going to do an Avon video, I think, video reviews and a Mark video reviews. Um, a lot of hit and miss. I could do individual products, but I think maybe just to kind of kick things off because I haven't talked about those brands a lot. I want to give you as much information as I can. I'm probably just going to do big video on each. I'm pretty much through the stuff and pretty much have formed opinions on it. Um, but some of the things that I've gotten are really, really new and I hope everybody has access to them again. Have you ever had braces? No. I, I've had teeth that are fairly straight the complaint people usually give me about my teeth is that I've got these. I got really prominent eye teeth right here. Learn to love them. Um, thank you. I mean, I'm not, I, I just hope people realize, like, I don't do my videos in one voice, like turn on a, a quote-unquote news voice for videos, and then go talk to Tyler and talk to him like, uh, okay, uh, it's all a voice is voice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's funny, though. You've got to, bottom line, you've got to come to expect that you're going to get all kinds of feedback. If you're if you're contemplating a YouTube channel, expect that you will hear everything in response to what you do. And I'm so like um, grateful, overwhelmed. My mom and I have talked about this. How many wonderful people are um, <laughs> out there in this world that? that are making themselves known to me through commenting on a YouTube video, seriously, you overwhelm me with how wonderful you are. And that there are so many of you, like, I, a virtual hug is not enough, but that's all I can say right now. Like, I'm seriously so blessed to have come in touch with so many people who are out there to just be good and nice and supportive. You're going to make me cry, but I love you. I really do. 
I, I mean, we are we are supposed to love everyone, but I want you to know specifically I love you, and I'm so grateful and thankful for you because there will be times when, you know, as a human being, we get discouraged, and I mean, I feel like you're there like friends to lift me back up, basically, like a friend would. And so I want to thank you for that. And grab a Kleenex. So, anyway, somebody tell a joke. <laughs> oh, it got real. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Linda. I've got some problematic teeth that I need to get fixed, though, back in the back. But I've also had, when I was little, I've had fillings in here that are the like the metal or the the dark, not dark, but they're the shiny silver kind. And I kind of want those take, you know, I don't know if it's even possible, but have a tooth-toned one in there. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Kristen Game is down for is gonna drive down for a birthday slumber party. <laughs> Seriously, I need to start. I mean, that's only that's not a very long way away. My thirtieth birthday. That is coming soon, so I need to get to planning something. So, ah, uh, um. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm not crying any tears. Of, it's, it's seriously a happy feeling. Um, but it's just, it's easy to get kind of like mm, an overwhelming feeling of how much love I have for you. There are a lot of people out there, I mean, I just feel so strongly about and, and know you are, I mean, really special people. And the thought that you've found what I do and enjoy what I do is an incredible compliment to me. So thank you very much. Thank you for, like, letting me into your homes, not caring if your husband or your kid overhears, you know. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. It's very, very nice. So... Thank you. And no giveaway that I do will ever thank you enough. So I don't know what I can do other than just, like I said, host a birthday party and invite everybody over and fly everybody in, and we just have one big heck of a time. I don't know. That's all I can. That's all I got so far. Um. Oh, no, yeah, if you just tuned in, you know, this is just, like I said, <laughs> it gets dramatic sometimes, it gets real sometimes. I mean, this is real life. We talk about real things, so. Maybe Tyler will surprise you. Yeah, I don't know. No, I've never had a root canal. Tyler has. He had one, I think when he was in, no, maybe he was in college. BB birthday bash. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we get Kaylee here. We get Kristen here. We get David here. Oh! <laughs> and then broadcast it live. <laughs> Emily for YouTube president. Oh, good Lord. You don't want that. No, it's... Thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. There's a lot of love going on here. We are all, we're all in it together. <laughs> Put out a vid every day and that'll be a great thank you. <laughs> well, did I mention a new product project? I'm stopping myself there. I'm horrible about giving stuff away before I intend to, mainly with gifts. Like, I sent something to my mom, and I wanted it to come to her as a surprise, 
the other, like, um, and then this past weekend when I saw her, I completely told her what it was. Too excitable. Hmm. Rachel votes for a DJ at the party. We could do that. I actually know, I know some people who might do that. Um, okay. 30th birthday party. We've got to get a DJ. People. Get some fun people here. A uh, lot of snacks and food. Pizza and nachos. Ooh, how about a total junk food smorgasbord? Like, absolutely every junk food item that I love would be on, like, buffet style. So, pizza, mozzarella sticks, corn nuggets, uh, did I say nachos? Uh, <laughs> um, we'll have, like, frozen cocktails, all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. No, crying for just happy reasons. <laughs> crying because I am an emotional person who cries at everything. It does not take much for me to get tears in my eyes, but I do feel strongly about a lot of things, so. Um, yeah, DJ. DJ for sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you for the information on teeth fillings. I appreciate that. How do you make color stay less heavy on the skin? Mix in a little bit of moisturizer or a little bit of, um, like, a more of a, a sheer lightweight foundation, like a Neutrogena Healthy Skin or a L'Oreal Lumi or a... Revlon Naked or something like that and you'll find the texture will change and then that's one way. Another thing you can do or combine this with the first trick is use a damp sponge to apply it. Skittles flavored martini. Have you ever had one? No. Do I want one? Yes. <laughs> Big soft pretzels. Oh heck yeah. Oh corn dogs too. What am I thinking? Corn dogs. Yeah. Cotton candy. Cotton. Can we rent a cotton candy machine? <laughs> oh my gosh. By the way, y'all, calling you y'all, that's for the Southern folk out there. But no, um, I'm going to a concert this weekend. Actually, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. Going to a concert. It is going to be in St. Louis. It's And this was what Tyler got me for our anniversary. I got him like a whole gift bag of different things, like the stuff he's interested in. I got him like some car stuff and some um, like office -y kind of stuff and some Cardinals stuff. And I just put it all together and snack food. Oh, don't let me forget to tell you the story about what I was buying all this snack food for. But anyway, <laughs> uh, all over the place. But um, the concert. He got us tickets to go see in St. Louis tomorrow Rascal Flats, the band Perry, and I think Cassidy Pope is also going to be singing. So, ah, I'm going to get all, you're, yeah, you're probably going to see me tweeting pictures of me being all country with boots, hat, whatever I can find. Um, but that's going to be so fun. I'm so looking forward to that. I have, um, we got to see Florida Georgia Line, which was right over here at um, a festival uh, earlier this summer. It was the same, was that Labor Day? Was that Labor Day? No, Memorial Day? Yeah. Um, anyway, it was like on a Monday night of a three-day weekend. But um, other than that, like, that wasn't a... That was a good size concert, but I haven't been. This is going to be a big concert. This is at like the Verizon Amphitheater, I think. So semi outdoorsy kind of thing, and it's going to be a blast. Yeah, Tyler and I are all about the gifts that incorporate things both can enjoy. <laughs> But anyway, let me tell you about when I was getting him. I got him a bunch of stuff, and part of what I got him for this gift bag I put together was, like, snack food that he likes but doesn't always eat all the time. Like, I got him some beef jerky. I got him some the Ghirardelli chocolates. Uh, what else? Oh, I got him, like, some Cheetos. 
I got him some, oh, it was just Junk Food City. And I got it, like, all this stuff. And so putting it on at, at Target on the little conveyor belt thing. And the woman who's checking me out, God love her, but she's speaking really loud. And she's like, oh, you're really going all out. You've got the Cheetos and the jerky and chocolate. And she's talking really loud. Like, people are turning around, like, looking at me. And I'm standing there like, <laughs> people think I'm a real junk food you know, person. And some people maybe knew me from the news. They're like, oh, a news girl really getting into the junk food. But <laughs> I told her, I was like, you know, actually, I'm putting together like a gift bag for my husband for our anniversary. And then she went on, oh, that's great. You know, <laughs> it was funny, but she she really like had a volume thing going on. And everybody was turning to see all the junk food I had. Like she was really like saying it, telling that whole portion of the store what I had. Uh, yes, the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in shade 5. And I'm going to do an application and a review video on this soon. Paired with the Maestro Concealer and the Fluid Sheer, which is like a liquidy bronzer. I'm going to do a look with that. And um, basically, I think it's a little overrated. I think I used it, I did actually a half and half test on it compared to Neutrogena, um, Neutrogena Healthy Skin, and it looked, the Armani had a little more coverage than that, but longevity wise, throughout the course of the day, I wouldn't have known the difference, so I don't know, um, but I'll have a full review on that. I'm going to refresh this page. It's already 10.36. I've not even been looking at the time. Um, can you sing it? Can I sing at your birthday bash? Oh, honey, we're going to be doing karaoke at my birthday bash as well. <laughs> I know this woman just really shouted it from the rooftops. And yeah, but what's wrong with junk food first off? But I didn't exactly want everyone in the store turning around to look at me. Um so let's get to get down to business and talk about what's going on. Avoid that lady if you ever need a pregnancy test. <laughs> yeah, what other embarrassing purchases do I not want being announced to the store? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Um, okay. Yeah, let's talk. What do you have going on this week? What, you know, exciting things, things you're nervous about, worried about, things you need us to be thinking about you for? Tell me. I'm looking at tweet chat and I'm looking at comments, which are probably both slightly behind. I got to get to editing after this. I am a cup working a couple videos ahead because like I said I'm gonna be gone for a little bit tomorrow and the next day. But the, yeah, the first tutorial after this whole giveaway thing is gonna be coming um on Saturday, ideally. I have not tried Kat Von D Locket. Mariah Chance has a Psychology final next Friday. Yeah, the birthday party is going to be the bomb. It's all about planning, though. It's all about me not just daydreaming about it, but making it happen, you know? <laughs> Bahar, you're killing me. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> But have you ever had that where you've been shopping and the the cashier is like really, you know, and sometimes it's just, it's not on anything embarrassing, but like one time I was getting cake mix, frosting, decorations, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if I really like that they're saying, oh, 
I see you're hosting a birthday party. <laughs> you know, it's not that bad, but it's like, what other th what other assessments are they making based on other things I have? Oh, I see you're a makeup addict. <laughs> uh. Linda Webb says, Mom in hospital due to a burn reaction from a medication. Very painful. I feel so sad. Oh, Linda. Oh, my gosh. In the process of trying to buy a house, that's Jamie P. Need good thoughts. It's a short sale to it. It's a short sale, so it takes a while. Ashley is preparing for back to college for my bachelor's at a real university. She was at a community college before. She says, "Gosh, Linda, I'm sorry about that." Has she been in the hospital for long or? Got people driving mine. Nothing weird happening outside so far, other than the flock of geese in V formation earlier. Oh! Noel Torres says, Greet my son Miguel. It's his birthday on Saturday. Happy early birthday, Miguel! That's great! Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! You have to teach him that dance, Noel. We Ashley says we just moved eight hours from where we previously lived. My husband said he was feeling homesick. He's lived there since 1998. Any tips to make him feel better? Um, I don't know. Maybe you can give him some little like. Like, the first thing my mind goes to when I hear the word homesick is home-cooked meal. You know, maybe you could try to make him, like, one of his favorite things from home, and it might lessen the feeling a little bit, or, or just, you know, make him feel good. Since in the middle of the night, says Linda Webb. Changing my hair color after two years. No more red. That's Jessica. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. That's Ginger. Um, oh, thank you, Serena. I'm glad you feel that way. I mean, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, Ron just says she's looking for a job. But there's not um, not much not many jobs for beauticians where she is. <laughs> uh, well done, beauty says went to CVS, bought Tampax, Mydol, and a heating pad. Cashier asked if it was that time of the month. <laughs> Tried to sign the receipt with a tampon I pulled out of my purse and thought it was a pen. You can't be serious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. The email listed on my blog. Um, Egwin E is going to fly to Turkey to go back to her summer love. It's pretty serious. Hello. Ashley's also getting her hair cut tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Refreshing here on the YouTube side. I'm loving these earrings. These little things. Can't remember where I said I got those from. Claire's probably? Uh, songs I pick for karaoke. Um... Reba McIntyre's Fancy, Carrie Underwood, Last Name, or Cowboy Casanova, and Bonnie Raitt's Something to Talk About. I'm very tempted to bust out in one of those songs right now, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> people are talking, talking about people. Oh my gosh. Okay, I believe you. Well done, beauty. <laughs> she said that story was true. I love it. I love it, though. 
Um, this was from Kmart. Oh, I haven't brought in the, the cake yet either. Yes. Rusty Spoon is getting her carpet replaced. Oh, thank you. Name isn't Ricky, it's Christina. I love that you do this live thing. Yeah. I love this too. This has really become a part of, I think, what I do with Beauty Broadcast uh, has been this. You know, I think it brings us together more. I think it um, it's just more candid and more off the cuff and just anything goes kind of chit chat. So I have had short hair for uh, when I was in high school. I had a very short cut. It was like maybe I should do one of those like fake bob things where I put the hair up like this. But no, I had a really short do, like kind of. It was like that kind of shape. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't love it. Yes. And I don't even know. Oh, love my right. Okay. I know. One of these days. One of these days. When when next time we do this at nighttime, I'll get Tyler involved, and we'll make it instead of BB Happy Hour, it'll be BB Karaoke Party. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get the cake. Baker baby. Baker says, this is what I make the big bucks for. I love you so much. What's up? What's up, sweetie? Are you sleepy? Is it a beautiful day outside? Okay. We're starting to get antsy. Okay, you may go. <laughs> she says, that's my limit. That's all you get. That's all you get, adoring fans, she says. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Reba's fancy. I was singing that when I was not very old. I also like Reba's... Um, that's a night that the last went out in Georgia. Um, what else? What else was I thinking? Oh my god, some big time Celine Dion. It's all coming back. I'm not singing this in full voice, by the way. But it's all coming back to me now. Song from Titanic. Uh, <laughs> I go big. I go big. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the way you, you have to hold Baker like that because otherwise she she'll she's just not comfortable with it. Michelle Fawn's new makeup line is launching today. Uh probably. I could probably try that. Mm-hmm. Hello from East Grand Forks, Minnesota. Wait, isn't there a Grand Forks in North Dakota too? Is that on the border? I wonder. Gosh, this, we have gone long today. 10.48. What else was I singing on? Oh, um, I think this was an Eagles song, and Travis Tritt redid it. But, um, take it easy, take it easy. You know that song? Probably not. I kind of trailed off. I when we do a beauty broadcast karaoke party, I'll let it rip. But I'm I'm a, I guys like I'm I've not done big performing for people, and there's several hundred people sitting at home watching this right now. Even though I feel like I'm alone in this room, I know people are watching. <laughs> Excited for my first surgery class. I got ready watching you and loved what you said about the little things. Oh, thank you. Positive energy. 
Oh, uh, Linda Webb sings the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. <laughs> need, to get, need to get Kristen Game or my mom here um, so they can sing alto. Funny story. Kristen probably won't mind me um, sharing this. When we were in Minnesota, we were eating dinner. She was, there's a song that came on over the sound system, and she was uh, either humming or just kind of like singing a little bit. And she was singing the alto part, and I was like, Are you an alto? And <laughs> um, she is. And I was like, because my mom always does that. Like, if a song comes on or she's humming along, she's always humming the alto part. And so, yeah, they're like kindred spirits or something. But I tried to get Tyler to sing the uh, Faith Hill. Why does it think Faith Hill Garth Brooks? Faith Hill Tim McGraw. Um, it's your love. Yeah, I. I I I was like doing the harmony part with him and um, Tyler. Don't let him fool you. He's got a voice as well, and he can carry a tune no problem. We're, don't let him tell you otherwise. When we do the karaoke show, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Sing whatever you want. <laughs> Oh, yay! Oh, I'm glad you like my Instagram pics. A little bit of everything on there, I tell you. So did you guys, did you end up following the people I said I recommended? The Flawless Faces Makeup and KLG and Hoda. <laughs> Those are the two accounts that I've been, especially just new, new accounts. Excuse me. That's my first burp of the day. Normally, I would burp a lot more. Um... This is a uh, the lip flash from Milani in flashy. Same. Oh, could it could it be a better match, y'all? Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Yes. Um, but I'll try to sing about anything when I, when, oh my God, I sang some bad stuff when I, when I was doing karaoke with David in New York. Well, I first sang Fancy, which is not a warm-up song, not a warm-up song, um, but uh, then I, I sang Backstreet Boys, um, uh, I Want It That Way, I sang some Britney Spears, Oops, I did it again. Uh, I sang some Genie in a Bottle, Christina Aguilera. Like, those were my high school jams. Remember TRL, Total Request Live? I knew the dances. I knew too much. Um, oh, yeah. Love it. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much for <laughs> spending this uh, very random fun morning here with me. Um, it's always fun on Beauty Broadcast Live. I appreciate you. I thank you for your time. I'm thinking about you, those of you who have big events coming up or important things or serious things going on in your life. Um, we are all here for you. Um, thanks for doing the tweet chat. I guess I'll do that again next time. It'll be, same, we'll keep the same hashtag and I'll you know, tweet that link. It's tweetchat.com slash room slash bdlive. So, yep. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day, a safe weekend if you're traveling. Um, good luck to everybody heading back to school or back to college. Uh, enjoy college while it lasts because it doesn't last forever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Any other random words of wisdom I can share? Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Oh, Ashley's now following Flawless Faces Makeup and can't stop looking at the pictures. That's what I did when I first started following. I was like, look at all these before and afters. Great, like, bridal makeup inspiration there, too. So, awesome. Thank you, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will see you soon. There will be a new video up on Saturday and probably a new blog up later today. Bye, guys.